All right, Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai, Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai, Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors and salutations to Yaki Monkey that sincerity laboring in his truth. Sincerity. Um, I'm gonna title it "2020: Be More Spiritual and Less Carnal." You know, and that's just straight to the point. You know, uh, concerning the brother with. The brothers out there in Holland and Europe and all that and other situations, man. You know, brothers better start being more spiritual, man. You know, stop, you know, uh, uh, stop with the camp banging, if you will, or sitting there putting dirty laundry out out there or airing brothers out. Stop with the the threats. Talk about that, that, stop with that. That's against the scriptures, man. And really, if you if you do those things, you walk in disorderly, and when that comes back and bites you. Don't sit there and, you know, and cry, cry woof. You know what I'm saying? Because we living in a time where Esau is looking for anything to, to, to get at brothers about anyway right now. You understand? So listen, man, if a brother, you know what I mean? Hey, if it's a situation that got to be addressed, and of course the spirit's going to address any situation that has to be addressed. You know, and if, if, if certain brothers don't want to receive correction or if they, brothers, hey, this, at the end of the day, Howard Shai said none is lost. <clears throat> save the son of perdition that the scripture may be fulfilled. So if you got guys out there, because there's a lot of different guys out there that started out as a, a, a following the doctrine of the apostles of GMS and then they use it to springboard into their own thing and got their own following and, you know, got caught up into the clout and the hype and not really sincere, not really willing to humble themselves. There's a lot of guys out there throughout the years. So when you see these guys, you let them do what they got to do. You know, because it's all spiritual at the end of the day. You see? Uh, now, I got the scripture right here. As a matter of fact, before I go here, I'm going to read, uh, I'm gonna go to Revelations, the 22nd chapter. You know, it's the scripture we bring out from time to time, right? Uh, straight, straightforward scripture. Revelations chapter 22. 22. Okay. Revelations 22, verse... Uh, Verse 10, it says, And he said unto me, Still not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. So if you got a, a brother that's not walking the right way, because by now, if you've been in the truth for, for a year, two years, three years, you see the examples that the apostles set forth, from apostle to on down to us elders as well. All right, so if you see brothers that are doing things opposite and if you try to correct them or whatever the case is right because the scriptures speak about ain't nothing wrong with correcting somebody if they going off but you don't sit there and just keep making an issue out of it especially if you if you know a dude is often fuck it it said look he that is unjust let him be unjust still and he which is filthy let him be filthy we're not going around here trying to rehabilitate jake in so-called inside or outside of the truth all right whether they got a bible or not if they at the end of the day, if they're not of the Lord's elect, you're going to know them. The scriptures say a tree may be known by its fruit. All right. Now, the scriptures speak about marking them that cause uh, offenses contrary to the doctrine. All right. But then once it starts getting into a, 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 a carnal thing, you know, then you start going off and you can't let these demons and, and, and everything. Because that's at the end of the day, that's what Satan is doing. Satan want to pull brothers into this carnal pool. You know, this thing of just going crazy, getting all carnal and ready to talk about. How bad? Ain't none of us bad, man. Ain't none of us suffered what Yahweh Shai went through. So all that tough talking that cats be doing, that's off, man. You ain't tough. You ain't do what Yahweh Shai did. You didn't go up on that cross, right? And, and go through those sufferings, man. And then remember what the scriptures say when Yahweh Shai went through that. So really, man, the Second Peter's. And you gotta keep these scriptures in mind. All right, uh, Second P Peter's. Uh, Is it Second Peter's or is it pardon me? First Peter's. That, that's good too. Pardon me, brothers. First Peter's the second chapter. Right? It says, uh, I mean, because it is an order, right? So I'll start uh, with 18. To servants be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward. And that's just a thing of, of character, man. The most I set set men up over you, and every last one of us had to come up under 
a, a man of the Lord and his truth, man. Ain't nobody walking around here. The most I just came, you know, even though guys act like they walk right out of the fourth dimension with the word. But nah, we all learn from men. And that's to build character, man. And now is the time you got to let your character show, which goes into your patience, which goes into your uh, uh, taking the low. It said, but also to the forward. For this is think worthy if a man for conscience toward the most high, and you got to have that conscience, the fear of the most high. Endure grief, suffering wrongfully. And sometimes you got to suffer wrongfully, especially in this truth. What a king got it. You see what Esau's doing in the media, man. He's talking, he's calling brothers all kind of names and trying to paint this whole narrative against the Israelites. So if you would call yourself a sincere believing brother, if y'all if you believe in from the, the same doctrine, why the hell are you sitting here arguing with each other? You know, why do brothers still constantly air each other out, put out d dirty laundry and, and look to attack brothers, man? Rolling in that spirit of pride, man. Now see, you know, you, and that's what it is with a lot of a lot of you guys that have that proud look. A lot of these, you know, and we tell you brothers to be aware of the, the curse of a novice you know yeah you, you've been around five six seven eight years or whatever and okay the lord showed you certain things but don't let it get to your head because at the end of the day we're all servants of yahweh by shimmy shai none of us over yahweh by shimmy shai you know and let the demon get on you and think make you think you deeper than what you is because it's not about being deep it's about uh, uh being, pleasing yahweh by shimmy shai and hopefully obtaining mercy I said, for what glory is it if when you be buffeted for your faults, you should take it patiently? But if when you do well and suffer for it, and the key thing in this truth, and we got to suffer even more in 2020 because the, the scope of things are changing, obviously, okay, with the situation, with that, that Iranian situation with, with the U.S., you got a lot of different other things that are taking place. And we know that now in, in 2020, you're going to see more about the chip, you know, you're going to see more. I was watching this. This video about um, what they got this new Mercedes, and, and maybe I'm bugging, you know, you brothers tell me, but the guy had his hand like on a thing. It looked like it was driving by itself, but he had to keep his hand on the, the armrest, spread it out. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe it operates with the chip, but we in that age where Esau is going to start forcing that chip to those who don't want to comply. And then they're going to be grabbing brothers up, locking brothers up. People are going to be making fun of us, you know, ha ha, I thought you Israelites knew this, that, and the third. You know, all you Israelites was talking all that shit. Now, look, you know, so you got to be built up and ready to suffer whatever we got to go through because that's part of the scripture speak of the hour, your temptation. So you got to be ready to endure it. You can't just be going crazy on these tangents because Esau is looking for anything, you know, from us brothers to, uh, to, to stop. See how they keep striking all the channels over BS, over nothing really valid. You understand? So what you think they're going to do if you put in all type of comments and making videos about threatening brothers or what you got, you know, that's, that's foolish, man. It said, for even here too, you were called because Yahweh Shai also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth. And everything we did, we, we're guilty. We deserve whatever we, went, we go through, man. Yahweh Shai didn't. As Yahweh Shai, he didn't do no sin. Neither was no guile found in his mouth. You see? He wasn't walking around in, 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 with a dis, uh, uh, doctrine of the world. Like all of us at one point or another, we all were, were gone into this world before we came into the, the truth. You see? Yahweh Shai was always in the truth. From day one to the to the end. So he went back to the Father. All right? So if, you, if anybody should be praised, it should be Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. All right? Not, not yourself. No, no brothers should be talking about how tough they are. Ain't none of us tough, man. You see? Our power is in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai said, I send you forth as sheep among wolves. How, how tough is a sheep amongst a wolf, man? You see? But that's spiritual because why? You're supposed to trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? Yahweh Shai is the good shepherd that's going to de defend us from all the wolves. It says... Who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth. It says, who when he was reviled, see, when he was reviled, reviled not again. They were sitting there talking all kind of shit, cursing Yahweh Shai out, man. You know, and he just was like a lamb to the slaughter. It said, when he suffered, he threatened not. And he had the power. We ain't got no power, man. So why, 
dudes start talking all this crazy stuff, man. There's a bunch of nonsense, and really, brothers got to take their focus off of stuff like that. And like the scriptures say, occupy yourself with prophecy, man. You know, and, and, and stop straining at a net or whatever. You know, bro, here it is through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, the doctrine's been laid out from years ago. So any man that's coming, twisting it or turning, turning it around, then you know that they, that's of the devil. You know what I'm saying? Or they walking disorderly. You, all right? We don't, through the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai from Apostle Tar on down, we don't lay down the doctrine, went into who the tribes is, this, that, and the third. So if you got guys coming up trying to re-break down the tribes and re-break this down and re-break that down, then they're trying to do their own thing. And the scriptures speak about those guys, man. And we're not to sit there and get all flabbergasted. Over, hey, whatever. If they, if they want to do their own thing, let whoever do whatever they want to do, man. At the end of the day, you stay in your, your, your uh, lot, all right? You stay in your lot. You don't break rank just because, you know, demons, because that's what their job is. They want to pull you outside that, that hedge, man. You see? It says, uh, but committed himself to him that judges righteously. And trust me, man, through the spirit of power, you how about Shinya was shy. All right. A lot of times when these guys that ain't right rise up, you see what happens to them. You know, they don't like, they, they get, you know, they get a little run. Some get a longer run than others, but eventually what happens, man? All right. And from the apostles on down to us elders, we done seen so many guys come in and out. And I mean, that's why when we, we say certain things, a lot of guys think we just talking, man. Nah, we done seen all shapes, sizes, and we done seen all, all, all different guys come and claiming that they was in the spirit of the Lord was dealing with, with them, not the apostles, or we we going off, or they sat there and condemned us times when we got arrested, not knowing that that's what we're supposed to go through. You understand? And then we watched how the Most High dismantled, dismantled them and basically took his spirit from them, man. And a lot of these dudes, some of them back in the spirit world, all right? And they just went out miserably, man. And there's a lot of them still thinking that they might be doing something here and there. But look, it's all spiritual. The Lord is going to uh, deal with a dude that ain't right, man. You know, you brothers should focus more on the prophecies, man. You know, because we, we at the end. It ain't too much. There's a few more things that got to happen, you know. But we can see that the, the vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is, is present more than ever, man. So that's why we got to definitely try, like the scriptures say, what's, what's it, Galatians? Uh, hold on, I'll come back to that. Uh, Galatians, the fifth chapter, five and five and thirteen. It says, "For brethren, you have been called unto liberty." Yeah, being in this truth, man. All right, because really, when we was in the world, we was worthy of death. All right. So now we have, we do have grace to get things together. That's why we're rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, not that we're going to be saved solely based on keeping the laws, but we're supposed to re rehearse it, right, and establish the law. Pursuant to Romans 3 and 31. It said, for brethren, you have been called into liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. So don't use, because, yeah, you do get authority in this, this knowledge, right? This, this knowledge, do, you know, knowledge is power. And when the Lord, you know, even this, the 70, when, the, when Yahweh Shai sent them out, they was amazed how they were able to tread over scorpions and basically they was able to condemn and curse wicked ass niggas out and everything, right? So you, yeah, you do get power as far as teaching this knowledge, but don't use it, the platform that the Lord, because the Lord, this is the Lord's platform. That's why the Apostle Paul said in Corinthians, the third chapter, no greater foundation can any man lay than that which is already set, which is Yahweh Shai. So there's already a right way to do things, man. And anybody that disagrees with that, then so be it. You understand? We're going to follow what the scriptures say, man. That's on, that's on them, man. All right? You don't got to sit there and try to, you, you know, the Lord gave you a platform, use it for the right thing. Don't use it to be pushing no damn carnal message, man. We're not with no carnal shit, especially now, you know, Esau wants to set us up, man. We ain't with uh, trying to attack nobody, not ourselves, not Esau, nobody, man. Only thing we're doing is, is teaching us, uh, teaching the truth, man, teaching the scripture. So when Esau rose up on us, all right, it's going to be for what? Doing the work of the Lord, teaching the truth, teaching out of the Holy Bible, according to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not for us doing some stupidness, man, sitting there shooting, you know, shooting at people or whatever. Chick don't want to be 
deal with you no more. So you're gonna just go try to shoot her or shoot the dude or get into a shootout with people. Nah, we ain't that ain't a lot. That's not a lot. Not as the prophets, not as the men of the Lord who are seeking salvation from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. So it says, but by love serve one another. Yeah. You know, by love. And it ain't talking about no damn faggot shit. It's talking about what? You're keeping the commandments, uh, teaching brothers, uh, uh, edifying brothers. All right. When you do these shows, this, this shows love. But if you sit there and get caught up into all this bullshit bickering, then that takes away from the ministry, man. You see? It takes away from a, a lot of edification that you can be putting out there for brothers, man. For sincere brothers I'm speaking about. I'm only really uh, speaking um, to the sincere brothers in this thing. Because, of course, we know there's a lot of guys that are not sincere. It said, for all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So when the scriptures speak about, you know, turning the other cheek, if your brother smite you, smack you in the face, that's speaking about within the doctrine, within the body. Because not at all times, not all members in the body are going to get along with each other. But it's not for you to leave your order and sit there and start condemning it. Nah, this dude is wicked. He's wicked. I know he's wicked because you got you angry or you feel whatever you feel. Nah, a lot of you brothers that be on the comment board, just fall the fuck back, man. You brothers that new been in the faith for five, six, seven, eight years, stop looking to run to the God. You know, yeah, I knew that nigga ain't right. That this nigga, these niggas. Now listen, man, just worry about working out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You know, because Jake get caught up too much into the to that gossip shit. Most of the shows <clears throat> that get the most views, as we know, is when there's some type of drama going on, man. You know, you gotta get brothers gotta get more in the spirit, man, and leave that drama alone, man. It said, but if you bite and devour one another, take take he take heed that you be not consumed of one another. You see? And that always go around. Your brothers bickering, biting and devouring, cursing, showing you that it's nothing new. The same thing is happening all over again, right? Verse 16. It said, This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So that's the key thing, man. You gotta walk in the spirit so you don't get caught up into all that carnal shit, man. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. So so that ye cannot do the things that ye would, see? So you got to decide if you want to try to be a tough guy and macho man or whatever, Randy Savage type Israelite, or if you're going to be a, a prophet, a humble servant of Yahweh, Because at the end of the day, the scriptures say before honor comes humility, man. We all got, and it said every knee's going to bow. We all in this truth to humble ourselves before Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. All right? This ain't a thing of you standing up how, talking about how bad and, you know, this, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? And, and again, I mean, this is reference to them brothers, but just in general, period, because this always comes up. And it, this got to stop with brothers, man. I'm talking about with brothers. Let, you know, let Jake, Jake talk. They, Jake bugged out anyway, man. You know, Jake out, that's outside of the truth or whatever. Let them say what they got to say, man. You brothers stay focused, you know, because hey, Yahweh Shai is coming back soon, man. Close, man. 2020 is going to be a hell of a year, you know. And, and me saying this to you, brothers, it applies to me, too, because, I mean, don't think, you know, that spirit don't get on all of us. We all be wanting to, you know, but you got to remember, we ain't shit, man. We got to... Shit, the, the anger that you got, man, ain't nothing compared to the anger of Yahweh about Shimei Yahweh Shai, and you don't want to draw his wrath upon you, you see? So that's why we got to walk in the spirit, man, because shit, there's a lot of people that, you know, in our carnal minds, we, we feel that they should, you know what I'm saying, get some type of, but nah, we leave everything to the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai, man, you know? It says, um, but if you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law, now the works of the flesh are manifest. Yeah, that's the, the main point, point I wanted on that. And really, I'm going to end it right there. You know, the, the main point is just for brothers, you know, the, Get away from all that carnal, carnal talk and, you know, uh, uh, sitting there stirring the pot, starting shit up and all that. Really, get away from all that, man. Just focus on teaching, man. It's enough things to teach. It's enough prophecies, uh, the breakdowns. You know, the, we, we're living in exciting times of prophecy, man. You know, it, Apostle Tarsa, 2020, the year of prophecy. So why wouldn't, wouldn't you rather speak about the prophecies instead of getting consumed and, and pulled into, you know, all this bullshit bickering back and forth it, it's unprofitable so um anyway you know hopefully brothers will edify you know and um as always we give all give all uh 
Praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. I write and say, Shalom to you, sincere Akim. Shalom.